Hello? Right, let's discuss uh, this question. Okay, this question talking about uh, the fourth and the seventh term of a geometric series, right? It's a geometric series. So the fourth term, uh, fourth term means T4, is uh, 1 over 2. And the seventh term, uh, the seventh term is 1 over 16, right? Uh, so you have to you have to write correctly, right? It's not S, right? Because if S they were right, the sum of the first four term. But this is they said the fourth term and the seven terms is one over two and one over sixteen. Okay, determine the first term and the common ratio. Okay, we we, we stop here first because the job is we uh, determine the first term. We find the A and the R, right? Uh, this one I have discussed in the previous video where I using division, right? So the formula for Tn, uh, the formula for Tn is for arithmetic geometric sequence is R, A R n minus one. Okay, so now then you have T four. T four is A R to the power of four minus one, right? Four n minus one. So you have power of three equals to one over two. I make this one to be equation one. I repeat again here, right? Uh, so means this method is very important. So here will be AR seven, seven, seven minus one. You have six equals to one over sixteen, right? So I make this to be equation two. All right. So the I is is now is using division for geometric sequence. We're using division. So you either take one divided by two, or two divided by one. Okay, either one is okay. I will take two divided by one. So I will take a r the, the left hand side divided by the left hand side means that the a r power of six divided by right? a r power of three right. Mm. So one over sixteen, uh, one over sixteen right, uh, divide by one over two right, divide by one over two. So now this one cancel out, and r six minus three divide ma. So six minus three. So 1 over 16, if divide, you can change, become multiply. But this one, you have to reverse, right? Become 2 over 1. So what you will get? You will get 2, 8, 16, which is 1 over 8. And for this side, you have r to the power of 3, right? 6 minus 3 is r power of 3, which gives you 1 over 8. Ah, so 1 over 8 is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Since this is an odd power, there are no plus minus, huh? You must understand why. So R is one over two. Uh, you have you have get your 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 value of common ratio. So same thing. You substitute this one into one or two to get the value of A, right? So uh, do again. So A. I put into equation one. So one over two to the power of three equals to one over two. So A. 1 over 8 equals to 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2 power 3 is 1 over 8. So A, 1 over 8, go over there, become 1 over 2, multiply with 8, which is 4, right? So then you have value of A equals to 4. Uh, now, you know the value of A already. The value of A is uh, 4, and the value of R is 1 over 2, right? Um, but this is not the end of the question yet because this question asks you to find the sum of the first 10 term. Okay, means they want you to apply this formula. The Sn equals to A, 1 minus Rn over 1 minus R, where R cannot be 1 for both formula, right? So, apply this one because they said find the sum of the first 10 terms. So, you just apply the formula directly. The A is what? The A is 4. You plug 4. So 1 minus R. What is R? R is 1 over 2 to the power of 10 divided by 1 minus 1 over 2. Right? If you see carefully, uh, 1 over 2. And so now you're using calculator and plug in all the value, then you will get your answer. So 1 minus 0 0.5. Okay, I write this to be 0 0.5 to the power of 10, right? Uh, power of 10. Bracket divided by 0 
1 minus 1 or 2 is 0 0.5, half. And multiply by the 4. Okay, and multiply by the 4, you have 1, 0, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 8 as your value for sum of the first 10 terms. Alright, okay. this question is considered as easy.